The alleged plot was disclosed by United States Attorney General Eric Holder. He said that elements of Iran's government hatched a plan to pay one and a half million dollars for assassins from a Mexican drug cartel to kill the Saudi ambassador on U.S. soil. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said Washington was taking the plot very seriously. Uh, this kind of uh, reckless act undermines uh, international norms and the international system. Iran must be held accountable for its actions. In addition to the steps announced by the Attorney General yesterday, the United States has increased our sanctions on individuals within the Iranian government who are associated with this plot and Iran's support for terrorism. The target of the alleged plot was Adel al-Jubair, Saudi Arabia's well-regarded ambassador to the United States. The most bizarre detail of the plot was the identity of the alleged middleman the Iranian officials used to hire the killers, Mansar Arbabsyar, a 56-year-old Iranian-American used car dealer living in Texas. He was arrested two weeks earlier when the Mexican drug cartel contact he was dealing with turned out to be a U.S. undercover agent. U.S. officials also issued an arrest warrant for another man, an officer of the Quds Force, an elite part of Iran's Revolutionary Guards, but he remains at large. Many U.S. observers found the whole thing difficult to believe. The least one can say is that it's bizarre. Um, uh, people are pointing out just how, um, how different it is than anything we've seen in the past and a lot of people doubt that it's true. The, the Iranians deny that they're involved and they dismiss it as ridiculous. But do the accusations make any sense? The leaders of Iran and Saudi Arabia have long been bitter enemies. Some experts speculate the alleged plot, perhaps planned by a rogue element in the Iranian government, could have been an indirect payback for the killings over the last two years of three Iranian scientists thought to have been working on a nuclear weapons program in Iran. That's one possibility. I think um, no one knows who is carrying out these assassinations. I think people believe it is likely the Israeli Mossad who has been involved here. Certain Israeli leaders have hinted to that effect. Yet many experts say the alleged plot would not be in Iran's interest. It was what the Iranian, point the Iranians make. It is not in their interest to do something like this. They're in a state of confrontation with the United States, a long-running dispute over the nuclear program. We've had years during which there have been rumors or gossip about a possible attack by the United States or Israel against Iran. In what way would it be in Iran's interest to do something that would give that would impel the Americans to react militarily. So when you look at it, it, it just doesn't make sense. In fact, U.S. officials admit they first had trouble believing the amateurish nature of the plot, but the evidence for it was there. The administration is clearly very confident in the evidence that they, that they have. Um, the legislators, such as Senator Dianne Feinstein, who they've briefed on this herself, seems very convinced. And they've gone around the world to present this evidence to different governments and different groups as they continue to press their case against Iran. So how is the United States reacting? Observers say Washington is remaining calm and arguing that this is one more reason the international community should strengthen trade and technology sanctions against Iran's supposed efforts to build a nuclear bomb. The alleged plot is hard to believe that Iran's elite Quds Force asked a used car dealer in Texas to hire Mexican drug cartel hitmen to kill the Saudi ambassador. But the Obama administration is sticking to the story. The question now is whether the allegations will help America further isolate Iran and bring greater international pressure to bear against Iran's nuclear program. For Political Agenda, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.